Today we are talking about something so bizarre and so surreal, and I can almost guarantee that you haven't heard of it before. Hey humans, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. We are gathered here today because one of my subscribers named Caitlin, shout out to Caitlin, sent me an email suggestion for today's topic and tipped me off to this bizarre kids show. So I asked my patrons over on Patreon if they would want a video about this as well and they said yes. So here we are. Like I touched on today, we are talking about a kid show. Yes, a kid show made for children. And it had a ton of controversy around it because of how violent it was. And yes, I just used the phrase kid show and violence in the same sentence. I love lost media. I love obscure things that nobody has ever heard of. And thus the Popey the Performer video has been born. For the duration of this video, I am going to refer to this as Popey. Popey the Performer, because when you hear the theme song, that's how it sounds like they're saying his name. A lot of people pronounce it Poppy though. Okay, so Popey the Performer was a 3D computer generated show that was produced for a small exclusively anime station in Japan called Kid Station. All the episodes were in short form and there were 40 episodes in total, 39 regular episodes and one special. The first 39 episodes were broken into three seasons that aired from January 3rd, 2000 until December 28th, 2001, with the last 40th episode, the special, airing a few days later on January 1st. 2003. Please forgive my Japanese pronunciation throughout this video. I'm doing the best I can. I looked up pronunciations, but I still probably won't sound that good. So I apologize to all of my Japanese speaking friends. The CGI director that created this show's name was Ryuji Masuda. He was the writer, director, and creator, and his art director and character designer was actually his wife, Wakeko Masuda. Now, Ryuji Yuji Masuda, the creator of the show, really just wanted to make a CGI animation, something he was passionate about, and he really wanted to make one that would end up on TV. At the time, there was this five minute slot that was open at Kid Station. So he asked one of his connections if they could hook him up and get him this five minute slot. All Ryuji knew was that there was a five minute slot open. He didn't know that it was for a kid's show. He didn't watch Kids Station, and so he had no idea that the target audience was going to be children. I'm not sure how he didn't know this when it was literally called Kids Station, but I'm also not positive that he knew what the name of the station was. Perhaps he didn't even know that. But you'd think that since it was called Kid Station, that would have tipped him off to the fact that the show was supposed to be for kids. So Ryuji Masuda didn't originally create this show with kids in mind as the target audience, if that makes sense. He made an animation based on what he wanted to do. But nonetheless, the producers at Kid Station or the executives, whoever makes those decisions, aired it as a kid's show anyway. They liked it and they were like, yeah, sure, why not? He was given three months before his first air date and he just jumped at the opportunity because like I said, he really wanted to make a CGI animation to share with the world. Ryuji was only given about 100,000 yen for each episode, which if you put it into Google conversion, that would work out to about $727 US dollars in today's month. Money. This was 20 years ago, but that kind of gives you an idea. He had a very, very small budget for each episode. You could tell by watching the show that the budget was very low and Ryuji actually accepted a very small monthly salary as well in order to make the show because like we already said a million times, it was a passion project for him. So he was willing to do it for little pay. But as you could see, the show is set in the desert specifically, so there wouldn't have to be a lot of details in the background. Popey only has three fingers because that cut down on time and budget, etc. You couldn't just tell that it was a pretty low budget show. However, in spite of how low budget it was, surprisingly, the show became very popular. The show actually hit it off very well with audience and and in spite of its controversy, people liked it. Ryuji had originally signed on for only 14 episodes, but because of the show's popularity, 
they kept extending it. In fact, he got it extended twice, hence the 40 episodes instead of the original 14 episodes that he signed on for. They actually wanted him to make more episodes and the show would have gone on for longer had Ryuji wanted it to, but he was the one that decided at 40 episodes that he was done, he wanted to move on to other projects. Most of the episodes consist of only two characters, Popey, Popey the performer, the main character, and his sidekick, Ketamono. Probably saying that wrong too. I'm so sorry. Let's talk about the characters so that you understand what's going on before we actually get into some of the episodes. So Popey, our main character, he is a human. He's supposed to be 17 years old and his birthday is on April Fool's Day, ironically. His dad, named Pappy, appears on the show in some episodes, but apparently Popey refuses to believe that it's actually his father. His only other known family member is his little sister, Marfa. And while she exists, according to the creator himself, she never actually appears on the show at all, likely because of the budget. Popey is an apprentice clown and is always dressed in the same striped bunny onesie. And he has this very long tail, even though buddies don't have long tails. And he's always carrying around this blue bag. Popey is our main character, but he's actually batshit crazy, for lack of a better word. He shows off the walls, just like bonkers jealousy towards all the other characters in the show, especially Ketamono. He has a very, very short temper and he's just like not rational at all. Now we have Ketamono, which in Japanese literally translates to beast. Ketamono is Popey's sidekick on the show and the other main character second to Popey, of course. He's a wolf, I'll bet a purple and pretty anthropomorphized version of a wolf. And instead of seeing his real face, he is always wearing different masks in order to express his current mood or emotion. We never see his face in the show. He was apparently picked up by Pappy and Popey to join the circus with them, but really he's mostly used as Popey's punching bag and prop. Popey's antics are almost always aimed at Ketamono, and Ketamono always seems to get the worst of all of Popey's treatment and is just the vessel in which Popey takes out his short temper on. It's very sad. It's extra sad because typically Ketamono is this sweet, caring, concerned character on the show. Like, he's the good guy. Each episode is a very short, standalone episode. They're all about five minutes, like, including the beginning and end credits. The show typically revolves around Popey trying to perform some kind of circus act, and the whole circus in the show is called Wolf Circus. Like I said, almost every episode gets pretty dark, and almost all the episodes show some sort of violence or violent themes, and also just generally very inappropriate themes for children. Like, it's so weird. The characters die in the episodes quite a bit, but they'll return in the next episode completely unscathed with absolutely no explanation. That's not extremely weird for cartoons like South Park and stuff does that as well, where characters will often die and then just return randomly. But Popey has died 28 times throughout the series and Ketamono has died 10 times throughout the series. Okay, so that's a good background on the show itself. Now we're going to go over some of the episodes and talk about the episodes specifically. Remember, this is not a complete list. Literally every single episode brings something very, very strange and creepy and unsettling to the table. So we're going to go over five or six episodes that I just personally like the most, I think are the darkest and the creepiest in the series. One of the most discussed episodes is called Swallower. It's episode 11 and is often regarded as the darkest episode of the series. And perhaps it's because after it aired only once, it was subsequently banned from ever being rebroadcasted. You can find it on YouTube, though. The episode starts out with Popey licking a sword as Ketamono watches him, because that's normal. Popey then throws the sword up in the air and swallows it. He spits it out and laughs as Ketamono claps. Popey then picks up a much 
longer sword next. And this seems to really excite him to do this next trick, even though Ketamoto now looks very concerned for his safety. This time, Popey throws it in the air again, but when it comes down and he swallows it, Popey is instead fully impaled. Popey, who seems to have understood that this was a mistake, asks Ketamono for help with just his pleading facial expressions. Ketamono tries unsuccessfully to pull the sword from Popey. So instead, Ketamono tries to get a truck to pull the sword out from Popey instead. He like ties Popey up to the truck and ties his feet to the other end so that he could try to pull the sword out. This also doesn't work, and Popey can then be seen being dragged along the ground by a sword impaling him as the truck drags him around the circus. Ketamono panics when he sees this and starts swerving the truck uncontrollably. Then we get this lovely visual of Popey's face now covered in blood and his eyes rolling to the back of his head. Absolutely just bonkers imagery for a kid's show. Kenemono again crashes the whole truck trying to avoid Frog, another character of the show that comes around from time to time, and they are both seemingly taken into a fiery explosion. But don't worry, they are both miraculously fine, and Popey has gotten the sword out and is now chasing Ketamoto around with it because for absolutely no reason at all, he blames Ketamoto for his predicament. <laughs> Popey ends up swallowing Ketamoto instead. Popey laughs hysterically as Ketamoto tries to escape Popey's stomach. This makes Popey very angry again. As we know, he has a short temper, so he throws the sword up yet again, and this time impales himself on purpose in order to impale and kill Ketamono as well. And the episode ends like this. <laughs> The next episode that I want to talk about is Dream. Dream is episode 19 of the series. It starts by Popey falling out of the sky and landing on poor Ketamono as he's trying to eat some chicken. Ketamono loves chicken. After the title of the episode and intro plays out, Popey falls from the sky yet again, but now everything looks brighter and Ketamono dodges Popey and bounces away. Popey sees a corpse version of himself come out of the ground and try to attack him, but he wakes up again, seeming to have actually landed on Kanemono after all. Pappy then comes to tickle them both awake. It starts raining, and it seems that all three of them are asleep and dreaming of their deaths, but they're all just asleep. If this sounds confusing, it's because it is. Me explaining like this, like, go watch the episode yourself, but it doesn't make any more sense than what I'm explaining right now. It's... Yeah. A couple more minutes of just surrealism and weird visuals follow, and the episode ends by showing that all three of them are straight up dead and shows them in these really morbid positions. And Ketamono like falls over just to like show us once again that he's dead. The next episode we're going to talk about is Super Strength. This is episode 21 and follows Popey as he gets very jealous of Pappy outshining him in a strength competition. And so Popey walks off and injects himself with what we assume is some crazy strong steroid, like actually just pulls a needle out and does this on a kid's show. They start a competition about who is stronger, and Pappy eventually pulls himself up by the collar into the sky. You know, he could do that because of his super strength. And then he grabs the actual moon and throws it down to try to destroy Popey, his son. Popey holds it off with his super strength, but sadly slips on a banana peel, drops the moon, which then proceeds to destroy the entire planet Earth. Episode four of the series is called Knife Thrower. It starts by Popey watching Ketamono throw knives at a target. But as always, he gets super jealous because Popey doesn't like that somebody else is succeeding at something, especially something in the circus. So Popey forces Ketamono to become his knife throwing target with an apple on his head in spite of Ketamono's protests and very obvious fear. What's extra up is that before going for Ketamono, Popey 
practices on the inanimate target and keeps getting its face instead of the apple. And so poor Katamono is watching Popey do this, knowing that Popey plans to do this to him next. The nightmare fuel. Popey goes for it and instantly kills Ketamono. Ketamono's spirit tries to go to heaven, but Popey lures it back down with Ketamono's favorite chicken. He then traps Ketamono's spirit and pins it down for target practice now, but somehow kills that spirit and he keeps getting mad that his target keeps getting compromised. So he continues to do this over and over again, killing Ketamono and his spirit dozens of times. And then finally, though, the knife boomerangs and Popey accidentally kills himself. And then his spirit is really mad because he didn't succeed at his circus knife throwing trick. Gunman is the fifth episode we're going to talk about today. This was episode 10 in the series. This one is so ridiculous ridiculously over like I can't I mean I don't need to say it they're all weird but this one gets I can't believe this was a kid show this episode starts with Katamono looking sadly at Popey's corpse as he drinks tea but then eventually Katamono suddenly breaks out into a strange maniacal laughter we go into a flashback to explain how we got here Popey is playing with a shotgun while Ketamono throws bottles into the air for Popey to practice shooting down. They switch and Ketamono has a turn with the shotgun, but the bottle that Popey throws in the air for him hits him on the head. So when Ketamono shoots the gun, he accidentally shoots off one of Popey's bunny ears on his onesie. This, of course, in true Popey fashion, enrages Popey absolutely enrages him and he uses a mini stuffed version of Katamoto as a target practice next to take this anger out on. Of course, he gets distracted and the bullet ricochets around and eventually goes into Katamoto's mouth. But don't worry because it comes right back out of Katamoto's butt and then Katamoto's butt bullet lands in Popey's mouth. It then comes out of Popey's butt. Popey is so traumatized by what just happened, he goes into an absolute unhinged rage, and we get this absolutely horrifying picture of Popey as he starts to go right after Ketamono with the shotgun now, and it turns into an effing machine gun. Not only is this episode so disturbing for obvious reasons, just like... I know this was 20 some years ago, but the state of the climate now with this just like so being reminiscent of like real mass shootings is just bonkers to me. Absolutely bananas. Okay. It eventually turns into the two of them playing badminton with a bullet though, and they seem to forget their anger momentarily at each other and they really enjoy the game. But the bullet does eventually hit Popey right in the face and the episode closes out with him getting a bloody shot right between the eyes. One more honorable mention episode that I just couldn't leave out is the episode Great Magic. If you aren't already going to have nightmares just knowing about this show's existence, I would highly recommend watching this episode in its entirety if you want more of this show. It starts with Pappy showing Popey the magic trick of sawing yourself in half, but it's just a trick and he's okay. But the episode takes a super dark turn when Popey wants to learn the trick, gets of course jealous that Pappy can do it, and he ends up cutting everyone in the circus up into little pieces before then sawing himself in half, seeming to be okay, but then falling and being sawed in half anyway. The absolute terrifying nature of that episode. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was Popey, the performer, the kid's show. Thank you again to Caitlin for pointing this bizarro thing out to me. And thank you so much to my patrons for voting on it because it was fun to dive into. If you guys want to become a patron, we do monthly Netflix parties over there. Mid-tiers get bonus videos every month and tons of other perks, actually. Early access polls, stuff like that. So if you want to join that, the link will be in the description below this video. Please like the video please like it. It's free. It's easy. And it helps me out. 
a ton. And I will see you guys in the next one. Special shout out to all of our patrons on the screen right now. Top tiers are Colin Holmes, The Deck of Cards, Michelle Valdovinos, Tom L, Little Kittle Cat, Mitchell Schaefer Meyer, Mike, Alice Paul, Brittany Phillips, Willow Winchester, Bambi, Momo Neon, Philip J, Marita144, Sage K, Elderly Hipster, Reese Rolls, The Puppy Hag, Rebecca Jackson, Toby, Carter, Kawakan Anime and Gaming Convention, Sonder, Sarah the Crazy Fish Lady, Blood for the Koi, Larkrar, Maxi, Ashley Danielle, Ellison Luna, Julieta, Cece Picard, Sophia Wood, A Bunny Apparently, Leon Bannock, Destiny Riley, Literally Lacey, Elliot Fink, I Am In Your Walls, Habromania, Cyberdog Investigations LLC, Vicky Cat, Amy B, Tickerch, MX Carmelia, CJ, Death Without the E, Ball, Olivezilla, and Chara. 